here's how they make this fabulous ice cream on a much larger scale. In the manufacturing facility, they start with the same wholesome ingredients as Casper did in 1925. Milk, sugar, and butter, amongst a few others. Then the mixture is heated up to 167 degrees and held at that temperature for 30 minutes. This process is called pasteurization. The mixture is then pumped through the homogenizer. This process breaks up the fat molecules, leaving that smooth, creamy texture that we've come to expect. The ice cream mix is then pumped through a plate cooler that cools the mix from 167 degrees to 36 degrees before going into a temporary holding tank. When it is time to use the mix, it's transported through stainless steel pipes to a freezer where the ice cream mix, which resembles milk, is frozen with cold air to make creamy ice cream. When the ice cream first falls onto the belt, it is in a soft serve form. It will then go through a series of freeze tubes to make it solid enough to handle for the next step of production. In this specific tunnel, there's 5,400 bars at any given time on a production day. This belt here, it's an eighth of a mile, so you can see it run continuously. Quarter mile each way with one seam in it, so it's the only belt of its kind that's used in the U.S. Casper's is a very innovative company. We've made pieces of equipment that otherwise you couldn't get in the U.S. to work for us. Just like these tunnels here, no one else uses them, but we use them and it works. And just like the stick pusher, Casper was also an inventor, so he invented a lot of the early equipment that wasn't available in mass production and manufacturing. A lot of the passion and creativity that we see in Casper's Mall Shop and Casper's Ice Cream today started back with Casper Merrill. He was, you know, part of the American dream. He wanted to build something up, and that's what he's continued to do over the generations, and everyone still loves the ice cream in their homes today, and it's manufactured with pride, and, the, and the, especially the family pride of doing something great that they know how to do. 30 minutes after the ice cream enters the freeze tunnel, it'll come out hard. At this point, if we're running the Fat Boy sandwiches, the ice cream is then placed on the machine to receive its chocolate cookies. This one machine will add a cookie to each side, then wrap and seal the Fat Boy sandwich. The next step is inspection to make sure each sandwich has two cookies and that it has been properly sealed before it is stacked in the next machine for retail packaging. When running the Nut Sunday line, commonly known as the Casco, the ice cream bars are picked up 10 at a time and dipped into a mixture of chocolate and peanuts. The chocolate dries quickly so it is ready for packaging. Once again, the product is inspected, this time for the proper amount of chocolate, peanuts, and that it was sealed properly. The ice cream bars are then placed in their retail boxes before being cased in larger quantities. Once the case is full of product, it goes through a machine to tape the top and bottom of the box before entering a large door in the wall. Behind that door is a giant freezer where the product is held at 20 degrees below zero to ensure the best quality product to our consumers. When it's time, the ice cream is transported on large semi-trailers, also held at negative 20, to grocery stores around the country for people like you to enjoy. Once again, Casper's legacy of quality products pushes the third generation to yet again upgrade and update the facility within the next five years. Behind me is, is going to be the future site of our, of our new facility that we're very excited about. In our old facility, we have the ability when running at full production to manufacture 330 ice cream bars a minute. With the new facility in line, we'll have the ability to make close to 1,500 bars a minute when we're up to full capacity, uh, which in putting it in perspective is, is a boatload of ice cream. 
This is the original location that Casper, uh, actually we're just down the street about a block is where he grew up and, and took the first, uh, made the first Nut Sundays on a Stick. It was just a, a few blocks away from where we are right now. It's actually adjacent to our facility right now. A favorite quote from Casper, we now call them Casperisms, goes like this. Anything is hard if you work at it easy, but easy if you work at it hard. This quote seems to be the driving force behind his third generation's homegrown company. Casper was a complex but simple man. He enjoyed life and always said, you can live on less when you have more to live for. Casper followed his motto by donating his time, talents, and energies throughout his life. His number one priority was his family, and every grandchild holds a special memory of their granddad. Over the past 85 years, the ice cream ingredients and family recipe and motto have changed very little. I think if you close your eyes while you enjoy one of our delicious ice cream treats, you can still taste Casper's original, hand-churned front porch flavor all over again.